हेलो दोस्तों अगर आप एक बी फॉर्म स्टूडेंट हो और अगर आप जी के लिए प्रिपरेशन ले रहे हो तो जाहिर सी बात है कि आपके मन में बहुत सारे डाउट्स आने वाले होंगे इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वेर यू आर इन द प्रिपरेशन स्टेज तो इसीलिए यही डाउट्स को एड्रेस करने के लिए यही डाउट्स को क्लियर करने के लिए आज हमारे साथ है हीरल जोशी हीरल जोशी वॉज अ बी फॉर्म एलुमनस ऑफ डॉक्टर भानुबैन नानावती कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी वन ऑफ द बेस्ट फार्मेसी कॉलेज इन महाराष्ट्र From there, she appeared for GPAT 2021 and secured an All India rank of 28. और उसके बाद उन्होंने नाइपर जेई में भी अपीयर किए थे और वहां पे उनका रैंक था 13. तो आप समझ ही सकते हो कि उनका प्रिपरेशन और उनका सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन इतना ही बढ़िया था कि उन्होंने ये दोनों एग्जाम ही फोड़ दिया राइट नाउ शी इज परसुइंग एम एस फॉर्म इन फार्मास्यूटिक्स एंड ड्रग डिजाइन फ्रॉम नाइपर मोहाली तो आज के इस वीडियो में जितने भी सारे जी पैट एस्परेंट है जितने भी सारे नाइपर एस्परेंट है उनका जितने भी सारे डाउट्स है वो सारे डाउट्स को वो क्लियर करेंगे और तो और ये एक बहुत बड़ा सेशन होने वाला होगा इट्स ऑलमोस्ट एन आवर लॉन्ग सेशन तो इसीलिए आपके कन्वीनियंस के लिए मैंने इसको तीन पार्ट में डिवाइड किया है तो आप एक एक पार्ट करके देखना तो फिर आप बहुत ही अच्छे से समझोगे सारे लिंक्स मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दूँगा तो कोई चिंता की बात नहीं है तो वीडियो को देखते रहिए लेकिन उससे पहले लेस रोल द इंट्रो start with a gpat and nipper doubts discussion conducted by hiral josh so before starting with the doubts and the queries and answering the questions i would like to share this message with each and every student present over here the five fundamental principles or pillars of our strategy first always believe in yourself because if you won't believe in your dreams then who will so always believe in yourself that you can achieve whatever you dream of whatever you can think of don't let the people tell you what you can achieve and what you cannot just believe in yourself and in your abilities and i'm sure you'll achieve your goal so first and foremost is believing in yourself the second and the most important that we all end up doing is comparing please it's a humble request to all of you to not compare yourself with any one of the people over here is the rule of hsc now what does hs uh, sc mean h here stands for honesty whatever you do do it with complete honesty what by, what i mean by this is that when you attend lectures or anything don't switch tabs or don't start doing whatsapp see as a student even i know that sometimes it's really tempting to check out the not notification or anything but whatever you do do it with complete honesty because the fruits of that will be really sweet secondly sincerity when you say that i'll study for 2 hours make sure that you do study for 2 hours without any interruption like you don't go and uh, drink water like you can drink water but um, don't break the link of studying just when you study study it with full sincerity uh don't just uh, sit and then go again for getting snacks go again to the washroom or just keep on going like that and breaking the link of the study when you sit for 2 hours dedicate those 2 hours to only study the third c stands for consistency maintain this honesty and sincerity not just for one day but throughout the days until the day of your exam just be consistent and give your best and you will surely achieve your goal the fourth point and the most important one of the most important point to practice is that being effort oriented instead of result oriented don't think of the goal like i want uh, don't think if i study this much how much rank will i get or if i study uh, for x y z hours how much uh, rank i might get or something just focus on your efforts just control things that are under your control and don't worry about the results and everything else just be dedicated to your efforts and you will definitely uh, reach your goal the fifth and the most important pillar is taking breaks and maintaining mindset taking breaks is as important as studying please don't end up over saturating yourself because i have myself experienced this that over saturating yourself will indeed deteriorate your health and affect your studies so after studying for maybe an hour and so take a break of 5 10 minutes do the things that you like if nothing then just close your eyes and rest even a good nap of 15 minutes will be helpful to recharge and refresh yourself and lastly maintaining your mindset having a positive mindset 
impacts a lot in the exams ultimately it's all your mindset and the state of your mind that plays a major role on the day of your exam if you're panic in phobia or anything uh trust me it will affect your results you really need to be calm composed and just believe in yourself again that whatever you have done till now uh will be helpful in achieving your goal and you will be surely achieving your goal this is the mindset that you should keep before starting any exam or before starting to prepare for any exam so with this five fun- fundamental pillars now let us start taking up the questions one by one so starting with the students questions the first one is how to maintain a schedule with the college studies this is the most frequent and the most important question that i've come across uh to be honest personally even i have faced this challenge of studying simultaneously with the uh, for the gpat as well as the college but i would like to highlight one thing over here is that whenever you study for gpat or whenever you study for college those two are actually overlapping subjects so if you see the syllabus of uh, gpat it's more or less irrespective of which university or college you belong to it's more or less uh, similar to your college syllabus so if you uh, sincerely study for your college lectures attend your college lectures very sincerely hear what the teacher has to say listen to each and every word like i will tell you uh, in my, during my lectures i still remember one sir had mentioned that uh, rifampicin uh, is a class of anti tubercular drugs and these statements these sentences what they say in the lectures you know they are registered somewhere in our mind and when we are giving any exam or any competitive exam and if we see a similar kind of question or any question based on that we tend to remember this so if you attend college lectures thoroughly with whole dedication and uh, honesty i guess you will end up covering the gpat syllabus and what you can do is see every uh, monday to saturday we have colleges right dedicate your sundays to gpat preparation you can do that like whatever is being covered in the college you can cover everything from monday to saturday and whatever assignments homework or uh, whatever you get just try to complete try to complete it within those six days and keep sundays uh, i know sacrificing sundays is a big thing but keep your sundays dedicated to gpat even if you dedicate Um, maybe four hours, ten to two or something, to GPAD. Then it will be more than enough to cover everything. So that is how I can recommend managing studies of college and GPAD. And don't worry, whatever you will prepare, it will go hand in hand. No knowledge is ever wasted. So if you are studying for GPAD, it will be used in college. If you are studying for college, it will be used for GPAD. So it goes hand in hand. next is strategies for suetics and cology and the whole preparation strategy all right so uh, strategy there are a lot of questions on strategy i'll be covering up uh, this right now and then we can skip those questions again when they are repeated so uh, strategy uh, strategies for suetics and cology for cology i'll tell you one thing uh, cology mein na uh, how it is gpat mein there are a lot of aptitude questions suppose if i say that uh, which is a anti hypertensive drug that is also used for, as an anti depressant such kind of applicative questions are there but in case of nipper it's the other way around nipper only focuses on the classification tables of cology so if you uh, have studied all the classification tables just once from kd tripathi i think nipper is sorted but gpat is quite applicative so but not that hard because it's based on the basic mechanism of action side effects and uh, uh, some pharmacokinetic parameter of just important drugs not everything you did not uh, need to learn the t half or everything for each and every drug but yes where it makes a significant difference just note those points so for cology i would recommend that for suetics uh, suetics it depends from person to person to be honest for suetics there are few important topics that you need to cover from the book of lackman uh this other uh, reference book for this might vary from university to university but uh, from my experience i would say that lackman is like the bible of suetics it almost covers everything almost so chapters like tablets 
it's a reliva chapter in uh, lakman but if you study it once thoroughly i think you can solve any question of gpad or nipad trust me on this even pre formulation for that matter pre formulation is another important chapter where there are direct questions asked in nipad gpad uh, not so much because again gpad is more of applicative so your concepts of physical pharmacy uh rheology comes into picture a lot like uh, for example talking about rheology that um, mm, flocculated suspension as which kind of flow so such questions are asked so that is about suitics and pathology so in gpad it's more of an application based thing where your concepts of physical pharmacy and suitics are combined together and they ask questions so uh, make sure you learn the concepts if you learn the concepts you can uh, tackle any question and in case of nipper it's more of uh, memory based so uh, hosner's ratio for good flow is this to this uh, solubility of 10 to 12 belongs to this category uh, like it's freely soluble soluble and slightly soluble such questions are asked and talking about the whole preparation strategy see i tell you the what the strategy was uh, i follow this quote of steve jobs that uh, when you're tackling any major question break it into smaller bits achieve smaller targets and cumulatively you will end up covering the whole goal so what i, I can do is like uh, instead of covering the complete strategy for gpad i will tell you how you can look at first one week so in one week there are seven days the week starts from monday so on monday and tuesday you cover two topics once you cover those two topics revise them on wednesday both the topics like whatever you covered on monday and tuesday revise it on wednesday because even science says that whatever you revise within 48 hours it retains longer you will tend to remember it even though you might think that i have forgotten but when you see the question you will remember what you have studied because you have revised it within 48 hours so that makes a difference secondly so uh, monday tuesday you study new topics on wednesday you revise those topics on thursday and friday you cover new topics which were like something that is different from what you covered on monday and tuesday and again uh, so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday cover new topics revise those topics on saturday so you are covering four new topics on four days and revising on two days and on sundays you can take test so that is how you can uh, plan up your week see covering the topics is completely dependent on you whether you want to cover the whole antifungals in one day or you want to cover half of antifungals in one day and the other half in uh, other half in other day so you can see it's a very personal choice as to how to make a time table and see as a student i can tell you that whenever you make a time table we never follow, like i never followed it so making a time table never really worked for me so i cannot suggest you what time table you can make but you can follow this pattern where you can you know revise uh, study learn new topics revise study learn new topics revise and ultimately give test because only when you uh, solve questions you will know that if uh, whether the concepts that you have learned learned until now are right or wrong and if there is something wrong then how we can rectify our mistakes analysis of the questions that you have uh, solved so far is really important so that is how it is learn practice analyze and rectify that is the main preparation strategy i would say because there is nothing else and one more thing i'd like to emphasize on when you study any topic for the first time please 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 this uh, on the concepts and try to study it from the uh, the uh, what should i say uh, the main reference books like uh, if you are studying something for the first time like rheology as i said you can study it from martin complete rheology i know it's in depth but if you are studying it for the first time study it thoroughly and when you are revising you can uh, uh, just look through the points like uh, maybe you can refer to teachers ppts or uh, if you don't have ppts then you can go on slide share slide share is a good source of content if you really need a quick revision of any topic you need so that is one thing and yeah that uh, that's all i wanted to say that if you are reading for a first time please refer to the 
ideal reference books like cocology we have uh, k d tripathi rang and dale for suitics we have lackman so in this way uh, i'll elaborate on the uh, books later in the later questions तो यही तक था फर्स्ट पार्ट अगर आपको सेकंड पार्ट देखना है तो फिर आप डिस्क्रिप्शन में जाके देख सकते हो या फिर आई बटन में भी दिया हुआ है और अगर आपको ये वीडियो पसंद आ रहा है हमारे चैनल पसंद आ रहा है तो ज़रूर इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए इस वीडियोस को आपके सारे दोस्तों के साथ शेयर कीजिए वैसे भी फार्मेसी के लोग बहुत ही कम रहते हैं तो इसी हमारा सब्सक्राइबर उतना ज़्यादा नहीं होता है और तो और अगर आपको कुछ भी बोलना है हमको तो फिर कमेंट बॉक्स में ज़रूर डालिएगा थैंक यू बाई